So for today, we're going to be looking at Eververse. If you guys don't know, we usually look at uh, the challenges for the week and Eververse. Unfortunately, the challenges only go up to week 10 and we've, we've been past week 10. So we just do Eververse for these videos. So for the first thing we're going to be looking at is the Polished Sea Stone. This is a pretty cool shader. Um, not going to lie. I am kind of interested in it just because I could switch out the shader for the pants for like something dark. So that way it can look like I'm wearing black pants and then switch out the shader for the for the cloak um, and then maybe for the helmet, too. So that way it can actually look like I'm wearing different pieces. So, yeah, pretty cool shader. We have the Dido capsule entrance. We have the Aoki fast SL 65, which looks really cool, like actually really cool. I. I'm kind of tempted to pick it up because it looks really cool. We have Grasping Thoughts, which is a Eris Morn uh, emote, which is it is what it is. And for the bottom stuff, we have the Lantern Projection. We have End of an Era, which is the ornament for the last word. We have the Eternal Vengeance, which is the Fortnite armor. If you guys don't know, if you guys have been following along, then this is the last week for the Fortnite armor. So you guys have been picking up the pieces just make sure to pick this up i will have a review for the, the all of the armor probably within this week just be aware that i did not pick up the bond for the warlock so we will still look at it but i won't i won't show you guys like as a as a display so just be aware of that we have helotropomy or whatever you say this it's a i think it's an ugly shit personally we have motive force which is the Sparrow that I use on my Titan because this is obviously uh, Cabal themed. We have No Signal, which is an emote, which I don't really care for. Swap the deck, which is from this season. Is that a okay, that's a chicken. Hmm. And then for the shaders, we have Trinity, which is a pretty cool white and green um, on certain shaders, especially on the Austrian. It looks really cool. Uh, we have grayscale undergrowth, which is very boring. We have bruised blush, which if I fire. Yeah, I'm not a big fan. Oh, it does have a cool texture though on the, on the cloth. I didn't see that. It's a decent purple and pink. Mm. And then we have vibrant beach, which looks trash. Mm, you know what? If it wasn't for the yellow, I wouldn't say this is a good blue, but because of the yellow, I'm not a big fan of it. But if I do an all white shader for the pants and like all white cloak, I think that would look pretty cool. Very, very summery. It's summery. So yeah, let me know what you guys think in the comments below. If you guys don't know, uh, we do have an event, which is the uh, over here. The donations chest, it doesn't even have a picture apparently. But yeah, we're going to be doing a bunch of stuff um, as a community, which is pretty cool, I guess. And in order to get uh, progress as in captain's coins, you have to do uh, expedition activities, destination chests, lost sectors, public events, dares of eternity, and the King's Fall raid. I assume each chest gives you a coin or the last chest gives you a coin. Either way, uh, that is happening this week. It's pretty cool because I assume the, the Elixni quarter is gonna change because that's kind of like some of the bonuses that we get or like, a progress bar or whatever so yeah let me know what you guys think if you guys want to follow me again links in the description below i have a fuck ton of stuff to be rolling out this week i also should have my first video coming out for my second channel which is fix tony plays if you guys don't know i made a second channel so that way i can just play whatever i want uh specifically other games that that's not destiny 2 related because I tried it on this channel and it fucked my algorithm or not. Well, it fucked my algorithm, but it also fucked my, my analytics really hard. So I just decided to make a second channel for it. I will be, go, be going pretty hard on that channel because I play a lot of stuff that is not Destiny 2 related. So if you guys are, if you guys want to see me play more series that's not Destiny 2 related, I highly suggest you subscribe to that channel because I have enough content over there to last me until like March of next year. So I have like three to four months of content that is already scheduled. And that's on top of games that are going to be coming out. Like, for example, the Callisto Protocol is going to be a game I'm going to be playing heavily. And I'm going to be uh, 
mixing that with the content that I already have scheduled. And that's not also including the fact that like the Dying Light and the Elden Ring content, once it catches up, I actually will continue it. So it's not actually not done yet. So <laughs> that's also not including the fact that I still have content in my main channel that I want to switch over to my second channel, specifically like my Ghost of Tsushima gameplay, my Urgnan gameplay, my series, because I did finish it in this channel. Uh, the cyberpunk stuff, at least the prologue stuff, because that I think that was a lot of fun. But yeah, let me know what you guys think in the comments below. I will have a separate video specifically talking about my second channel because I think it's important. And I have had people ask, like, when am I going to play another game? So be safe and I'll see you guys later.